seismic incidents, rivers on Prince Edward Island this summer. It hurts tourism, it tarnishes the island's image abroad. Watershed groups we know are claiming they're severely underfunded to remediate the problems out there. What steps would you take to get control of the matter of the Noxic rivers on Prince Edward Island? One minute. In one minute. Okay. Well, one of the things, Wayne, that, uh, and everyone, that we tried to initiate in 2007 when we brought in the, the can, uh, lifted the can ban and there was going to be refunds, Fat Bins at the time made a commitment that all of that money would go to an environmental fund and to be used by watershed groups. We could never, ever pay for the volunteers in our watershed groups, but we have to support them. An example of one in my area, the Cove Hit Bay, uh, they're working with the Department of Fisheries and Oceans to try and get some funding with the university to look at two things, not just the sources of what's causing the anoxic events and the, and the sea lettuce and the other the growth that's in the, in the bays and estuaries, but is there something we can do with it? And I think Kevin Tether from the University of Prince Edward Island is working on that project. We didn't get this place Cheat them, shut that up. We didn't get here in a year, we're not going to get out of it in a year, but we have to help our volunteers. Fred McCarr. Thank you, Wayne. The nitrogen report that I mentioned in my opening remarks was quite well done, and uh, Mr. Armand de Roche and several other people wrote it. It's very clear what's killing our lakes and streams is too much fertilizer being applied before the potato rocks are in the ground. We have to take the agricultural community head on on this one. There's no getting around it. We're putting on too much fertilizer, upwards of 200 units of nitrogen before the potato crop is even out of the ground. That has got to stop. That's why we're killing our streams and our lakes, rivers. Thank you, Fred. Peter Novello. I don't think anybody has a problem understanding what's causing the anoxic rivers. What we need to do is sit down with the farmers. I'm a believer in sitting down and talking to the people. Farmers understand what needs to be done. So how do we work out a solution with the farmer sit down and come up with a solution that would see the reduction in nitrates going into the farmland. Is it new crops? Is it new programs? Is it new buffer zones that we sit down and we work at an agreement with those who use the land? Because it's a partnership. The waters are owned by the people of PEI. The land, of course, is owned by individuals of PEI. We need to work together, and I think there is a solution out there if we sit down and talk to farmers face to face. All of Crane. Thank you. Uh, Fred already mentioned about the nitrate report, and that's certainly part of the solution. However, I really believe that we have to work with the entire watershed. Uh, the Federation of Agriculture is doing some uh, good work in this regard, including investments around Alice that helps farmers make good choices. In terms of the public waterways, especially the public oyster fishery that is impacted, uh, not, uh, especially by sea levels, I would support projects that actually show innovation and connection of how we get rid of the sea levels using perhaps some technology that's built in the local community here and maybe dry that sea lettuce and turn it into a biomass so that you'd have the opportunity to um, utilize and expand uh, a nuisance crop into something that uh, might be able to create some jobs. Jamie Fox. That's a tough question. I don't think it's a one-sided answer, and I don't think only one group can work on this. I think it's an answer, or uh, the solution to this is not only working with the farmers, but it's also better to bring the watershed people. You've got to bring in the federal government, and you've got to bring in all the resources that deal with the watershed issue or the, or the rivers and streams. If we, if we only deal with one group, then it's going to be too one-sided. And I believe that the answer, or the, the answer to this solution or to, to cure this problem is by inviting all the stakeholders that have a stake to play or a role to play in this this matter. Bring them together and have a joint session or a joint a joint committee that can that can bring in the expertise of all parties that are involved or or uh, are factored into it. Thank you, Jamie. 